In a week, students here in the Charlotte area are going to be heading back to school. Some are already back. Whether or not they should be wearing masks continues to be a big topic up for debate. Just last night, Roanne Salisbury in Cleveland County Schools, they reversed their original decisions, and now students and staff will have to mask up. Union County board members voted to keep masking optional. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has more now on what state and local doctors say will be the key to a successful and safe school year. Summer is coming to an end and some health experts are sounding the alarm on school safety protocols or lack thereof. There's not necessarily a mandate for masking um, and, and strict social distancing. And, and so we're, we're concerned. A handful of districts in North Carolina have already made a change in plans and will now require masks in the classroom, aligning with what the state is asking but not requiring them to do. But some are still leaving it up to individual families to decide. I would definitely encourage parents to send your child in a mask even if you're in a mask optional school. Doctors agree the isolation students experienced last year took a toll and believe the mask provides a layer of protection that will help keep kids learning in person. Those schools that have layered prevention, including masking, have really a low rate of transmission. They're also pushing for as many kids 12 and older to get vaccinated and soon. State data shows only 30% of those ages 12 to 17 have gotten the shots. And while most children will have a mild case of COVID, those with underlying conditions are at greater risk of hospitalization. As the vaccine becomes available to younger children, seek that out as soon as you possibly can. Uh, the best chance we have to get rid of our masks and get out of this mess is to vaccinate as much of as many of us as we possibly can. Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.